Okay. Yeah, so first of all, pay is extremely important to make the job a good job. If you can't get paid enough to have agency in your life, nothing else really matters, right? So, so, so pay is extremely important, but it's one component of the system. So when it comes to pay, when we work with companies that are stuck in this vicious cycle, we encourage them to raise pay as much as possible, as early as possible in their journey. And then we, we, because that's how you get out of the vicious cycle. That's how employees get out of their vicious cycle of poverty. And that's how, as an organization, you get out of the vicious cycle of mediocrity. And, and so, so pay is extremely important, but then pay alone is not going to drive great outcomes for workers they will, but not for companies immediately. It doesn't even drive turnover immediately. It takes some time. So, so, so what are some of the things on the workspace, on the four operational choices of the good job strategy that you can use to reduce the workload, to, to make pay work for you? And, and we encourage companies to find ways to reduce workload in a way that benefits their customers. Uh, so, so raise pay as early as possible, but don't think about pay in isolation. Make other changes so that the pay uh, pays off. And some of the do's and don'ts of uh, pay raises, I haven't yet seen a context where the pay increase was perfect. Like, no one complained. It was so easy to, to, to do it. I mean, there are also, we are humans. We care about fairness, right? We all care about fairness. And compression is a real issue. So I can guarantee that when you raise pay, you will make mistakes. Um, but the, 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 the big uh, recommendation is always explain the why and involve the people in making decisions. So, so those are some of the things uh, related to pay. But things outside pay and the system perspective is really important. For example, we know that one of the other issues for workers, especially in service industries like retail, is scheduling. Workers tend to get their schedules one or two weeks in advance, and their schedules, their hours change all the time. So creating consistency, creating predictability, giving them enough hours is a very important thing for workers. But creating those schedules require the workload to be stable. And that is not possible if the deliveries into your store are coming in very unpredictable times and the times when there are so many customers in the store. So we, when we say systems, um, usually we'll do a workshop and we'll have everyone, Good Jobs Institute, we do two-day workshops with, with companies. Um, we will have people from logistics, from merchandising, from, from finance, from store operations all together and we say, okay, let's focus on deliveries. What does the logistics function care about? Oftentimes, logistics cares about minimizing their transportation costs. Right? They work in their silos, and they say, I want to minimize my transportation costs. So if the deliveries are unpredictable, if they vary all the time, so be it. The stores should just deal with it. But a system, we will say, look, if we just focus on the transportation costs, our customers are not going to get the right merchandise because we might not have the right people to shelve them. Right? Think in terms of customers. Um, our workers will have unstable schedules. It means that the turnover is going to be so much higher so that we won't be able to serve our customers. Um, and this will have an effect on, on our business. So the system view is thinking about how does this affect the customer, how does this affect the worker and the work that they do, and how does it affect the financial performance, and, and, and considering all three of those.